So there are a couple new things I wanted to show you in Revit 2019 about 3D views. 3D views got a lot of love with this release. So first off, inside of any of my 3D views, I can now uh, see my levels. If I just go to my visibility graphics and I go to the annotation categories, I'm gonna see now level is one of my categories here that I can just toggle on. And once it's on, it gives me a nice preview here of where the levels are. And then if I select them, it's gonna show me the entire slice. And I can even modify it straight from here, just like I could in a section or an elevation. I can go ahead and rename it. I can toggle on the height here. Um, anything I could do before my levels in my uh, non-3D views, I can do right here inside of my um, three-dimensional views as well. So I'm going to toggle that back off as I kind of show you some of the other things that we've got going on inside of the 3D views as well. Another great, uh, fantastic new addition is the ability now to toggle between ortho-style 3D views and perspective 3D views. And this is a huge time saver, and it's something people have been asking for for a very long time. So in my view properties, I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to look for projection mode right here. You notice I'm set at orthographic, and all I got to do is change this down to perspective and then apply my settings. And I am now in a perspective view, and I've got all of my regular controls, and I'm going to um, pull out my navigation wheel here because I find it just a little bit easier once I am inside of a uh, perspective view to kind of navigate and walk around and look around and do whatever I need to do inside of uh, perspective view. Now, you may notice if I'm in this perspective view here, there's something a little different than um, we used to have in our perspective views inside of Revit. There is no crop boundary showing up inside of here, and that is another fantastic new tweak inside of Revit 2019. Uh, it really helps add to that immersive nature of your perspective views, and I think it's going to increase your use as a presentation as well as design tools. Um, now, one note, if you do not have the crop boundary on, I cannot add this view to a sheet. Revit has no idea kind of what the extents are going to be inside this 3D world. So a couple things you can do, I can go ahead and turn my crop region back on, but say I set up this view and I get this view to look exactly the way I want. And this looks, uh, let's get that horizon down a little bit there. So we get this view the way we want. If I right click on this view now, I have two new options. This reset crop boundary to model and reset crop boundary to screen. So reset crop boundary to model is going to create my crop boundary. It's not going to turn it on, but it's going to set it to the geometric extents of the elements in this view. And so once I set that, and if I go here and I turn my crop view on, and I'm going to turn my region visible as well, you'll see that crop boundary is shrunken down to the 3D items for my model. So if I turn that back off, um, and let's get my view somewhere else. So it's there now. Um, now if I right click and I say reset crop boundary to screen, it's going to take my crop boundary. You can see it shrunk, it, it, it expanded it out here to the extents of the entire screen. So now if I say crop view, I've got a crop view from the extents of the entire uh, view, the entire screen that I had. And if I don't want that, I just go ahead and you know turn it back off. And I'm going to get back in here and kind of navigate around and get my my view the way I want it to get. So a uh, huge, huge addition there of toggling between my ortho and my perspective views. And it's really um, going to help, like I said before, add to the immersive nature of perspective views. And I think it's going to be a huge boost to leveraging your, your Revit model throughout design.